What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the social status, Nike Dunk, and the Strawberry Milk colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles, and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material as Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort in your shoes, be sure to check out that link down below. You'll see they sell four different insole options, so really depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's going to be something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. They definitely add a lot of comfort for my shoes. So if you guys want to check them out, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So back to the shoes, this Strawberry Milk Dunk is a second of two colorways from Social Status and Nike's free lunch collaboration. So if you guys haven't seen my chocolate milk review, I'll add that link down below. And essentially this review is gonna be pretty much the same, except of course the obvious differences in color. So this pair released on October 15th for a price of 130 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 160 Canadian. And the colorway for this shoe is light soft pink, coconut milk, and pink glaze. And just like the chocolate milk colorway, both of these pairs were inspired by the milk given to underprivileged students in public school assistance programs throughout the US. So just like the chocolate milk pair, this comes in that same themed box, which looks like it's taken directly from food packaging. And the paper is the same as well, dressed as a calendar, which outlines a different menu option throughout the entire month. And it also comes with this pink colored coin purse as well, which is a nice added bonus. So jumping back to the details of the shoe, the overall silhouette is just like the chocolate milk pair, which is technically not a high, not a low, and they say it's not a mid. But in literal terms, it is definitely higher cut than your normal dunk low. So to me at least, I still consider this as a Nike dunk mid. On the toe box, this is covered in this pink colored nubuck, which has a very soft feel to it and has this perforated finish right across. And surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, unlike the chocolate milk pair where the base was constructed out of velvet and the outer edge was constructed out of nubuck, for this pair it swaps this with this toe cap area being covered in this pink colored velvet with an embroidered mini swoosh on the lateral side. Covering the eyelets of the shoe we have more of this very soft velvet material, this is constructed out of a very light shade of pink, and on the mid panel we have more of this nubuck material. Stitched on top of this, we have this TPU gel-like swoosh, which really gives off the appearance of milk. You can kind of see the swirly design from within, which is a really nice touch. The side flaps of the shoe is constructed out of a darker pink colored nubuck, and this wraps around the bottom of the back heel. And then on the lateral side, printed on the nubuck, we have the different ingredients or materials used to construct this shoe. Next to this, surrounding the top portion of the back heel, we have more of that velvet material, which is done in this slightly orangey pink colored shade, and we have a small pull tab on the center as well. For the laces, these come with these pink colored rope laces, which feels very stretchy in hand. If you're not feeling the look of these laces, they also give you a secondary pair of pale orange colored laces as well. And this is done in more of a traditional flat style. Underneath this, we have a new buck tongue, which is done in that same dark pink colored finish. And on the top, the tags here are made to resemble meal tickets with Nike branding on the right foot and social status branding on the left foot. So the back of the tongue and the inner liner of the shoe is lined in this turquoise colored finish. And then for the insoles, these come with a foam padded insole and we have social status and Nike co-branding stamped on the heels. So the upper of these dunks sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is done in this off-white color. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, the outsole here, this is just your traditional dunk outsole. However, it's entirely constructed out of this olive green colored rubber. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these social status dunks. And for those wondering how these fit, to me these fit like most of your other dunks, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. So whatever size you normally wear for dunks, I'd recommend sticking with that same size. And if you've never worn a dunk before, I feel like true to size should be good unless you have really, really wide feet, then you probably wanna go up a half size. Moving on to comfort, so these feel like any of your other dunks out there. So with that said, it's not the most comfortable shoe out there. It's gonna feel pretty firm and flat to the ground. And the majority of the comfort you're feeling is coming from that foam padded insole. However, for just an everyday casual use shoe, it's going to be okay. It's not anything exceptional, but if you're just going to be walking around in them, they're going to be fine. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so I felt like the material quality on this one was comparable to the chocolate milk pair. So both colorways had pretty solid materials. The new books, like I said, felt very premium, and you can really tell in hand that it's a good quality cut of material. And in terms of the overall craftsmanship, 
so I felt like the strawberry milk pair was much better crafted than the chocolate milk. So if you watch my previous review, I had a lot of issues with my pair and I heard other people had similar issues with theirs as well. And I gotta say for the strawberry milk pair, it was night and day. The craftsmanship was much, much better. And I honestly had zero issues with this pair except for some small scratches on the back heel where the new buck was kind of scuffed. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Between this one and the chocolate milk pair, I gotta give the edge to the chocolate milk pair in terms of a colorway and wearability standpoint. However, I really like the materials and the craftsmanship on the strawberry milk one. I just find that for me, this colorway isn't gonna be the easiest to pull off, but I like knowing that I have both colorways in the collection. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the strawberry milk social status Nike Dunk. Between this one and the chocolate pair, which of the two do you guys prefer? And for those of you guys watching, were you guys able to cop these? Did you take an L or did you pass altogether? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. You can also check out my podcast called The Channel 8 Podcast. So the video version I upload right here to my YouTube channel if you want to watch it. But if you just want to stream the audio only version, you can check it out on most of your major podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple, and Podbean. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.